Many Canadians are familiar with Amber Alerts, the emergency alert system that notifies Canadians when there is a missing child. But there are growing calls for a similar system specifically for the elderly. These alerts, called Silver Alerts, would notify Canadians of a missing senior citizen or other vulnerable person. Despite the push for a new alert system, experts are divided on the specifics and how a program could be successfully rolled out. Joining us now to help us better understand Silver Alerts is Megan Gilmar, reporter with Canadian Affairs. Megan, thank you very much for joining us on Forum Daily. Thanks for having me. Can you walk us through who exactly these Silver Alerts would be for? Is it primarily for the elderly who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia? Sure. So the main idea behind them is that they would be for elderly um, individuals, often those who have dementia or Alzheimer's or, or a similar disease, but in different uh, laws that have been passed across Canada or are proposed um, in different provinces, they may have some more stipulations depending on the jurisdiction. So some places will give us a, a specific age um, requirement. Others will also say that this could include individuals who are vulnerable for other reasons, such as developmental disabilities. Now, how many Canadians have dementia? And is there any data on how many seniors go missing in Canada? Okay, so we'll start with the dementia numbers. The Alzheimer's Society of Canada estimates that about 60,000 Canadians currently have dementia, but that's set to rise to 1 million in 2030, and then to continue to rise from there. And then in terms of individuals with dementia who go missing, that number is a little harder to determine. There's a lot of different data sources that will be collected on this. So some police services may collect data, medical alert uh, collects data. So some individuals who have dementia will have a medical alert bracelet. Um, and there's some information that you can get from that company. Uh, and then home care services will also have some statistics as well. So it, it's hard to find the exact number but when you speak to people who work in search and rescue or who uh, volunteer with different seniors organizations or, or even different police forces, they'll say that what they're seeing is an increase of older adults and seniors being reported missing. And in Calgary, a few years ago in 2019, the Calgary police were reporting that on average four seniors went missing each week. Wow. So based on your reporting, what do we know about the circumstances when an elderly person goes missing? Sure. Um, it varies from, from person to person. So um, like I, like probably many of, of the viewers, I've had family members who've had dementia or Alzheimer's. And so many families will report, you know, sundowning that an individual will get more uh, irritated or the symptoms are more noticeable in the evening. And, and depending on how that impacts them, there, then there might be a greater chance that somebody will go wandering off at that time. But some of the things we do know from people who work in search and rescue is that individuals who are lost who have dementia, they typically will walk in a straight line. So they'll be heading in one direction. And then when they get lost or confused, they'll sometimes like wedge themselves into a tight area. Uh, so like underneath a deck or uh, between bushes or between buildings, which is a different pattern than other people who are lost. And then typically when individuals are found and often they're found by police or, or by just like just concerned citizens, they're often found in a 10 to 13 kilometer radius from when they were last seen. So uh, when, when people are found quickly, they often don't go very far. Which provinces have created silver alerts and have those uh -huh. alert systems worked so far? Right, that's a great question. So at this moment, according to a researcher I spoke to from the University of Waterloo, there is no publicly funded silver alert system like the Amber Alerts that you were talking about at the, at the beginning of this segment. So Manitoba and Alberta have both passed laws to change their Missing Persons Acts to uh, reference vulnerable adults, uh, but there's still no publicly funded alert that you're going to get to your phone in those provinces if a senior goes missing. In British Columbia, there's like a volunteer organization that sends out alerts specifically when they see that police or search and rescue have sent out an alert that a adult is missing, an older adult is missing. But as of yet, there's no silver alert to your phone like the way we would have an amber alert. 
Uh, very quickly in 10 seconds or so. Uh, in your reporting, some experts warned that a poorly designed alert system would do more harm to, than good. Do you think so? Uh, I think it goes on how we design the alerts. So the concern with those researchers is that because so many seniors are going missing, people just get alerts all the time and wouldn't pay attention. So the goal is that if you're going to have an alert that it's uh, geographic and it's centered, it's sent out to the people in the region where an individual has been reported missing. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much for having me. Take care.